Hello everyone, I'm going to stick with the theme on remote design sprints. That's why I'm going to use my mural instead of our whiteboards and workshop rooms. But it does the same thing, but I would say it's a little bit more effect effective actually if we're using these virtual things. Uh, before we get into all of this, I just wanted to remind you if you haven't seen our video previously on the pre-flight, um, also using mural as an example, make sure you watch that first because I'm going to... this explanation here will have something to do with that one all right so that was episode 82 for if i'm not mistaken so go and have a look at that um before we start though i'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so if you if you've actually subscribed don't hit it because it'll unsubscribe you so don't do that um and uh if you haven't switched on the notification and enjoy this videos from us and it's been helpful for you make sure you do so so I'm going to cover the topic about writing your golden goal, your end goal, your vision, and um, writing down questions as well. We've done these videos before, uh, but this is specifically on a remote design sprint environment or a remote workshop environment. So let's jump into the mural. Running the goals and questions activity is actually quite similar to how you would do it in a workshop room, except in mural, uh, you've just got all of these features that I'll just go through real quick. So in here, um, I've written down goal and questions. So this is the space that we're going to use to drop in all of our goals and try to do some affinity mapping as well as questions. Let's focus on goal real quick. Now, if you're familiar with the process, um, it starts with in two years time. In other design sprints, we've also done versions where it's one year's time instead of two years time. But oftentimes this is something that you'd like to discuss with uh, the stakeholders or the decider or your client if you're running it for a client. Um, otherwise, I'm going to do a couple of examples here of goals and then we'll just run some voting sessions. So as you may already know, what we're going to do is we're going to write a series of goals. I'd probably time uh, like three minutes for this session. This is if I'm running it with a group of four to six or seven people, that's enough. Um, so what you wanna do is just get your team to think about it and write down in two years time, this app will be the whatever it is. So this is for everyone to stay quiet, note, and later on we'll vote. I'm gonna run with a few examples here and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I've written a few goals here. I've only got four so far because um, my brain is fried. No, I'm joking. It's okay. Um, usually when you have four to five people, you might end up with a good six to 10 uh, goal cards like this. Now, what you want to do is obviously do some voting session. Now to run a voting session, there's this handy voting session um, button here that you could just click. And then you could actually name in mural, you could actually name your voting session. I'm just going to call this goal. And um, because there's not that many card, I'm going to give each person a like maybe a sticker. But because I'm by myself here, which is a bit lonely, I'm going to pretend like I'm going to vote for a couple of other people. So let's say there's four of us. I'm going to run four votes, four voting stickers. I'll have a good read and think about it. But here I see, OK, this is about being the go to platform, which is what I want to do. Um, and this is about being the most accessible. This is about gaining traction in these markets, which which I like. Uh, it's being quite specific to that. Uh, so I'm going to vote on one here. Let's say if I was another person, another one. The pocket directory doesn't sound like what we want to do here because uh, it's not really a marketplace. It's a platform to build uh, to build a shop, really. So I'm going to go with that. Another person goes, all right, I'm going to vote on accessibility as well, which is important. So by the time you finish this, usually um, it'll take about two to three minutes. In Mural, you could use timer as well, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but timer is good because you don't have the time timer with you as, as you would in a normal design sprint, but you can use this timer feature in Mural. Um, so yeah, what you want to do is like do a voting tree. If you're familiar with the process, you'd know this stuff. Uh, we've done other similar videos about voting as well. So go and have a look at those if you haven't done so. Um, but what we what we have here is a voting tree, starting with the top vote down to the one that has none in this case. Um, what you want to do here as a facilitator is help your team summarize. Um, so I'll just grab another text box here. 
and I'll just help summarize our votes. I'll only consider the ones that have that has been voted, uh, and the ones that are not voted, I'll disregard for now. So, in two years' time, so what I'm trying to do is just summarize for the one statement here. In two years' time, this. Well, someone says app, someone says product, someone says website. I'm just gonna summarize it as a digital platform. This digital platform will be uh, the go-to uh, channel for all for creatives um, in Asia. See how I'm trying to combine these statements, Europe and North America and North America. Uh, that it is accessible. If I know how to spell this, accessible to many. All right. So I like the sound of that. Um, in, ch in the challenge section um, during our pre-flight, um, we've we've clarified what the challenge was. Um, we've tried to come up with a challenge and make it time bound as well by saying financial year. But that's something that's a little bit more specific. Whereas with goal, you want to think about the bigger picture. So oftentimes in two years time, it's actually good enough. Um, the other thing that I like to do here in Mural is you could just reduce the font size like that real quick and it'll sit nicely. All right, so once we've done that, we've got the goal. We're going to run the same thing with questions. Before I bore you with questions, I'm just going to explain real quick that questions is the opposite of goal. If goal is about being super optimistic, in two years time, we're going to be like the best of the best. Questions is about being a little bit more pessimistic, trying to be a bit more real, trying to keep yourself grounded. So I'm going to write some examples of questions, which generally it starts with can we and you can fill the blank in there so for example he could do can we integrate can we when we do this can we actually integrate with um, uh, other third-party uh, SaaS products or whatever it is right um, so I'm just gonna write a few examples here and I'll show you what it looks like Okay, so I've written a few cards here, a few question cards. I'll just read out a few real quick. Can we integrate as many third-party SaaS as possible? Uh, can we launch with an MVP enough to test the market? Can we get user validation before investing more money, um, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a few here. What I'm gonna do is run another voting session. This time, you actually want to give your participants a little bit more sticker, more than one. I would say maybe three. Uh, don't forget to name it. I'm just going to call it questions. And there you go. Uh, participants would run uh, voting sessions. Oh, sorry. I might, I'll, I'll uh, restart it. I'll pretend like I'm more than one person. So I'm going to start questions. And because I'm more than one, each person gets one. Let's say there's nine. All right. If a participant feels, if a team member feels very strongly of um, of an idea or a question or a card, they can drop in more than one uh, sticker to vote on that card. I'll run a timer as well. This is how you would typically do it. You run a timer, run a voting session, and go. Everyone goes and, and reads it and cast their votes. So I like the idea of integration. Uh, I've got three stickers here with me as one person. Uh, I like the idea of enough to test and go to market, unique selling features, and then another person might vote on this, that. I'll just do a few here. There you go. Go, that, and that's it. Uh, so let's imagine that this session has ended, and then we get some voting tree here but visually what i want to do is also just do it on my end on the mural i'll group all of the ones together like that um and i'll have the one without the vote down there and i'll have the two 
just below the three. There we go. And so there we have it. We have got three, two, and a couple of ones. What I want to do here is just summarize the top three. In this scenario where you have multiple cards with the same number of both, you just want to start with the first one on the left hand side. Don't worry about the rest of the other ones. Chances are, chances, chances are by focusing on uh, the first question, the second question, those other things are actually going to be covered as well. Um, so I'm going to try and summarize it real quick here. The first one was one. Uh, can we integrate as with as many third party platforms? Or might I say uh, with other popular third party platforms? As a facilitator, you can help clarify it or change the sentence or make it even clearer, um, working with the team, obviously. Second vote we have, second top vote was, can we launch with an MVP enough to go to test the market? Third one, which is this one here that we've got in the first one, can we focus on only one to two USPs for uh, for us to go to market. All right. So for the purposes of the exercise, I'm going to stop there. But basically, we have three questions here to focus on, and we have a goal. What we want to do um, is to focus on these statements uh, along the sprint along the full one week sprint but this is another reminder for us to stay on track basically all right and that's essentially how we run design sprints um, particularly goals and questions and um, you just have your participants join into the link you could share it what i like to do when people don't have an uh, a mural account is to send them just the visitor link and allow them to edit and when you copy this link and give it to anyone uh, in the room, they'll be able to access it without having a, a specific neural account. And that's enough for them to participate in voting sessions like this. All right, guys, hopefully that's helpful. Um, goals and questions. If you have any questions or if you know any other techniques or hacks around how to do this remotely, drop us a comment. Let us know. We'd love to learn more as well ourselves. Um, and do like and share this video to others who would benefit from it. Otherwise, um, have a good day.